bad timing, fellas. I'm in the middle of something. In exactly 57 seconds, the particles in this mass super accelerator reach maximum velocity. Working with this high harmonic pulse generator and metaplasmic interferometer to reproduce specific spatial conditions which, if I'm correct, will unlock and activate this test sample of Mistech. So whatever you want is gonna have to wait. Are those Witherspoon time signature drives? <laughs> you know they are, Mr. Matavastros. Yeah, I know you. I practically lived in your museum two summers ago. So, who's the meat puppet? He's my tough guy. Ignore him. Tell me, did you calibrate against Gassican frame references? Won't Brownian delineations muddle your Tardion count? Yes. If I was testing for Tardions. But if you're not testing for Tardions, then that would mean... Stand by. Well, that sucks. They're running through my batteries. You're saying Ms. Tech is from a future universe? Well, I can't prove it yet, but yes. And that's not all. Remember the Rudolph anomaly just a few months back? Look at these tachyon readings I took off the Ms. Tech at the time. What are you saying now? that Mistech responds to spatial disturbances? Yes. And the bigger the disturbance, the stronger the glow. Smaller ruptures in the fabric of the universe wouldn't register to the naked eye. The glow would be too faint. But get a strong anomaly nearby, and we'd be seeing fireworks. Uh, Doctor? I don't know. Seems a bit much to swallow. Doctor? I figured you'd say that. Doctor! <laughs> Oh, hell. Oh, no! Oh, what? We gotta get out of here. Out of the lab? Out of the system. We don't have much time. Move! Engines are warming up. Where is she? God. Can't we wait for her in space? No kidding. Let's go. We give her one more minute. I can't believe you waited for me.
There's a shockwave right on our tail. Well, get out of the way. I can't. We've got to get to that cinder spike. Come on, come on, come on. 